What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology zone and today's topic will be how to use cell script or cell command with the langchain agent so this is the tutorial number 17 and in this tutorial we will discuss on how to use shell command or cell script uh, with the help of langchain agent means uh, we will try to actually develop a langchain agent and which will internally use uh, uh, cell script or cell command whatever you can call it so basically um, it will be uh, the basic element is actually we are trying to achieve that uh, uh, there will be uh, one langchain agent and with the help of that langchain agent we will try to actually run some sort of uh, shell command so if you if you if you if you are going to execute multiple cell commands together you can call it as a cell script okay so we will be going to do that okay so without wasting time let's move on to the next slide so what is this exactly so giving agent access to the cell is uh, powerful but there is some risk involved right so the llm can use it to execute any shell commands the common use case for this is letting the llm interact with your local file system so this is an example so the main important part is actually this sort of blank chain agent you cannot use in the windows system okay so cause it is internally going to use the uh, uh, terminal and in the ter from the terminal it is going to actually run the cell script or shell command and cell basically works on mac or uh, Linux operating system right so let's start with that so first thing we have to do some sort of import so same thing we'll be going to import agents okay so from uh, langchain dot agents we'll be going to import let's say agent type then initialize agent and load tools right uh, then what else uh, we will be going to import from langchain dot chat models import chat I think chat open AI this one right then from langchain dot tools import shell I think it will be shell tool okay it is not coming I don't know okay so let's execute and see whether I am getting any error or not okay so it is getting executed so there is no error so it means everything is working fine so now we'll be going to set up the llm so llm and it is going to be chat open ai then we'll put a temperature right so temperature equals to zero and then model equals to gpt hyphen four right now what we'll do we'll be going to set up the uh, shell tool within this so basically cell underscore tool equals to uh, what is this I don't know what is this okay uh, it is going to be capital S right so basically shell tool like this let's see whether I'm getting any error or not think there should not be any error okay everything is fine now what will happen we'll be going to create the agent okay so agent equals to guys this is going to be a very small tutorial because we're not going to do something very fancy so initialize agent so first thing we'll be going to put the tool and shell tool then llm right then agent equals to agent type right then chat zero shot react description then verbose this true right 
okay and then uh, okay try to do this thing if this is not going to work we'll do something extra okay now what will happen agent dot run and now we'll be going to ask some question to this what okay so uh, determine the hardware information of this computer okay let's see whether it is able to do it or not okay. internally it is going to execute some sort of like a shell script or cell command okay so just try to focus on the terminal okay so it's executed something see okay and see it is getting some information and if you see here uh, it is using the terminal okay and this is the information see it is giving everything here right okay so now determine the uh, operating os information of this computer okay so let's ask more question let's see let's see yeah so see it is giving the answer so it's a mac OS version this everything okay uh, determine the memory information okay okay let's see what what it is actually going to understand memory means the physical memory or the storage or the primary or secondary so let's see it is able to do it or not yes so see everything is here okay it's talking about the physical memory so maybe uh, maybe hmm, storage okay. so i'm asking it everything okay yeah see it's talking about the main storage as well as the file system and whatever command it is running everything it is talking about okay uh, maybe something critical or determine the uh, time zone okay let's see yes time zone now uh, we will be going to ask something related to file file related thing okay uh, this this directory on this on, the, on this present directory okay the the number of number of elements on this present directory let's see it should run ls hyphen l okay let's see so just saying three elements see three elements one two three so three write down write down the name okay let's see whether it is able to do it or not yes it is giving me all information now what we'll do we'll try to actually do something some sort of uh, write operation okay create a text file on this present directory okay so let's see whether it is able to do it or not yeah it's able to do it see okay create on this directory write some random paragraph into it okay so let's see i'm asking it to create a file and write something randomly okay still it is doing yeah this is a random paragraph something so all done so let's open it so this is a new file dot txt yeah this is the file name random paragraph dot txt done so now what we'll do it i'll ask it to delete all the text file okay delete all text files from this present directory okay so all operation i'm trying to do it should delete everything these two files 
this this let's see whether it is able to do it or not yeah it's deleted now uh, let me ask it uh, to do something uh, some complex operation okay mm, uh, uh, create uh, 30 text files uh, on this directory uh, name the files randomly okay let's see it is able to create the 30 files or not okay whether it is using something differently or not just try to see see it is using the cell script only yeah this is a cell script see right yeah all created see super cool right so it can do anything now let me ask it to do something uh, overwhelming let's see whether it is able to do it or not create 30 uh, uh, like dot jpg files uh, on this present directory name the files randomly so random I, I missed the spelling then also it is actually did it okay so let's see whether it is able to do it or not yeah some jpeg files are created but i don't know whether it has some information or not okay so let me open the jpeg files what is this inside it <laughs> yeah so it's just a file okay nothing is there I just said some file okay so let me uh, ask it to delete everything okay files from delete this is the last thing delete all jpg and dot txt files from the present directory that's it okay right okay uh, okay so it's just a text file but nothing inside that because it has no extension maybe I can just write delete all uh, text files from the present directory okay so maybe now it is actually able to delete everything let's see whether it is going to do it or not because this files are having no extension so that is why it is not able to do it okay so maybe I can just say uh, delete where is my python file delete all files from the present directory uh, except except the uh, except the dot py file and the ppt i mean uh, i think the ppt file also it, it, it's deleted that it, it, uh, okay so that ppt has been deleted i believe okay so where is that ppt file i don't know whether it is okay uh, ppt file okay let's see what is going to happen now okay All files are there only this file is present okay so don't worry about that I'll actually try to restore the PPT file okay so the, uh, I believe you guys understood the concept behind this thing and how powerful these things are cause if you instruct this thing to do it anything related to file related operation or maybe your local system or whatever you will be able to achieve this thing so basically these things are actually going to helpful if you are going to develop some sort of AI assistant to actually um, make some automation or make something like very fast with respect to your 
daily to daily admin activity or maybe if you want to actually do some sort of like uh, monitoring on something like that uh, for local system logging or whatever so these things are going to be very useful right okay i don't want to actually stretch this video this is going to uh, kind of uh, I, I believe this uh, tutorial gave you a very like um, in-depth uh, information and hands-on kind of experience uh, related to this uh, cell command and integration between cell command and the Langchain agent and hopefully you guys will be able to actually uh, extend this tutorial by integrating some more use cases okay so before i conclude this tutorial i would like to highlight few pointers here so guys uh, once you watch my video just try to actually write down the same code by your own and, or try to do something similar because until and unless you are not writing the code it will not going to give you any um, any any confidence actually and with the help of confidence you will try to actually enhance your expertise right okay and it's a humble request from my side guys please try to subscribe to our channel whoever is actually watching this video for the first time if you are actually new to the channel then also please subscribe to our channel and if you have some aspiration to develop uh, your skill set in the domain of ai then please try to watch our series from the beginning because this is a 17 tutorial before that you already posted 16 more tutorials so just look for the entire playlist and try to start from the beginning and whenever you feel uh, that these videos are going to help someone else just try to share the videos with your family friends whoever you think will get some sort of benefit because your one like sharing or one subscription is actually going to help us uh, to motivate ourselves actually right and also it will help us to reach the larger audience base at the until and unless we are not reaching the larger audience uh, audience base google uh, algorithms are actually not going to promote our video so we would like to crack the google algorithm so please help us to actually achieve our goal by subscribing to our channel with big time okay so that's it for today we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day